It's another Monday with you, with Teacher Jenny here. Now we are going to talk more on composite functions. I know that you are having trouble with it, and it's more like confusing. So let me just have more examples to deliver it to you. Okay, now first one we have f of x equal to x plus 3, and g of x equal to x minus 1. We need to find the f circle g of x. And once, once we have this type of notation, this is now our indicator that we are looking for the composite of function. Now, from the definition I presented, when you say composite function, it is made up of another function or your other function is composed of are made up of another function. So literally speaking, we are going to replace our x in that certain function by our second function. So how are we going to do that? So let me just change my pen. Okay, there you go. So let me just have my notation. So when we say f circle g of x, this is now equal to f of g of x. Now, without looking at that one or without writing our notation in there, we can simply just look at our first function name in there written on your notation. So we have here f. Now, if that's the case, we are going to look for that function. So we have here the f of x and we are going to simply concentrate on that function alone. So let me just write it here. So we have x plus 3. That is our f of x. Now after that one, we go for the next function name and this is now our g of x. Now that g of x, we are going to write that or replace our x in here by the entire function g of x. So meaning, we've seen here your x on the f of x. We simply have to rewrite that one in terms of our g of x. So from x, this will become now your g of x, which is x minus 1. And then we copy the rest of your given on your f of x. We have the plus 3 in there. So combining like terms, so we have now x and then we have negative 1 plus 3. That is equal to positive 2. So we have our f circle g of x. So I hope that makes it clear enough for you. Anyways, let's move on. Let's go to our g circle f of x. So although we, we have different notation here, but the concept really of composite function is still there. So meaning, if you have here the g circle f of x, we are just letting our g of, instead of your x, we are replacing that one by our entire f of x. So meaning, if we have this notation, we always have to look at the first function name. And the first function name written in there is your g of x. So that is now our concentration in there. So writing g of x here, we have our g of x as x minus 1. So that's it. Now, looking at the second function, we have your f of x, and you are going to replace your x in here. So we have an x here, and we are replacing that one by our f of x, which is our x plus 3. And then we copy minus 1. So this is now equal to x, 3 minus 1, that will be 2. So that is now our G circle F of X. So I hope you were able to follow. Next, we now move on to the next example here. We are still under the composite of function. 
So we have here f of x equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3, and our g of x is 2x plus 1. So we need to find the g circle f of x this time. So g circle f of x, so we simply look at our first function. We have the g of x. So we are going to write that here. So we have 2x plus 1. And then we go for the second function, the g of, I mean, f of x in there. So the f of x there will be replacing your x in here. So we have 2 times your x, which will be your f of x. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 3. And then we added a 1 in there. So moving on, we can now distribute this one inside. So 2 times x squared, that will be 2x squared. 2 times 2x, that will be 4x. And 2 times 3, that will be 6. And we copy the plus 1 in there. Combining like terms, we have now 2x squared plus 4x plus 7. Because 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is now our g circle f of x. Now we go on for the next one. We still have the same example here, but this time we are looking for our f circle g of x. So our first function name is f of x. So we are going to write that here. x squared plus 2x plus 3. Second function name is g of x. So we are replacing our g of x by, I mean our x here but the entire g of x so we have x in here we are now replacing that one by your g of x which is 2x plus 1 and we still have a square in here so we are to square that up and then we copy a plus and then the 2 and then your x is then be replaced by the g of x which is 2x plus 1 and then we copy the plus 3. Now next, we have here a binomial. Now squaring binomial would mean we can go for the special product or you can just simply do the FOIL method in there. So let me just do this, the special product here. Special products suggest that you will be squaring the first term once you have the square of the binomial in there. So squaring the first term we have here 2x times 2x, that will be 4x squared. And then once you've squared the first term, you are now going to multiply the two terms, the 2x and the 1, and then multiply that by 2. Now you will be asking, where did we get the 2 in there? The 2 there is always fixed. It's always there to be multiplied on the product of the two terms. So that is why we do it 2x times 1 is 2x and times 2 that will be 4x. So since that is positive, so we have it plus 4x and then we go for the square of the second term of the binomial. So 1 times 1 that will be 1 in there. The next one we copy or we distribute our 2 inside. So 2x times x and 2 times 1. So 2 times 2x, that will be positive 4x. And 2 times 1, that will be positive 2. And we copy the plus 3. This will be equal to, when we combine like terms, we have here 4x squared. And then 4x plus 4x. So this one, they are like terms. So 4x plus 4x, that will be 8x. And then we go for the constant, 1 plus 2, that will be 3, 3 plus 3, that will be 6. So there you go with your f circle g of x. Now next we go for our next given, we have f of x equal to 2x and g of x equal to 3x plus 7. So let's try to find out what is f circle g of x. This is now equal to, let's look at the first function. 
your f of x, which is equal to 2x. So we simply copy that one there. And then we replace our x by the second function in there, which is g of x. So copying 2, multiplying that by the entire g of x, we have 3x plus 7. Distributing your 2, that will be now 2 times 3x, 6x, 2 times 7, that will be 14. So there you go with your f circle g of x. Let's move on to our g circle f of x. So our first function in there is the g of x. g of x is 3x plus 7. So we simply copy that there. And then we are going to replace our x in here by our f of x. So we have there copying 3 and then replacing our x by our 2x. And then adding that up with a 7. So 3 times 2x, that will be 6x. And then copying plus 7 in there. So there you go with your g of f. I mean g of cir g circle f of x. So I hope you are learning something here. And I hope that those who are confused will be enlightened on the process of your composite function. So I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye and good luck on your mastery test. Everything will be just fine. Take note, math is simply following instruction and understanding the process and the concept used on it. Thank you and have a nice day.